What's going on, T-Fresh? Welcome back to a new American Truck Simulator video. Today, we're going to be buying the most expensive trailer in the game. I'm really excited about it. And uh, like I was saying in the previous episode, sometimes I'm a little impatient. We only have $110,000. The trailer is, you know, costs a lot more than that. So I think we're just going to take out a loan to close the gap, okay? Uh, we're going to take out $100,000. I'm still repaying this one, uh, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay. We'll pay back both loans. No problems. So here we go, guys. We just took out another loan for $100,000. So now we have $210,795, which should be more than enough to buy the trailer and customize it. So... Since it's the most expensive one, it's going to be all the way to the right. This is the insulated triple. And we can actually, yeah, so the typical cargo type is chilled goods. We could also buy this one. This is a refrigerated trailer. It's called the Reefer. And it's $139,000. So you can actually carry, yeah, uh, transport frozen and chilled goods as well. But we're going to buy this one. The most expensive one triple trailer and we're gonna do a quick job with it too let me see what kind of customizations are available for this trailer this thing is massive bro massive driving around with this is it it's it's gonna be fun i guess all right so yeah we're definitely doing the triple it's the most expensive one not doing the doubles that would not be fun all right so we can do insulated or we could do the reefer. Oh, I can't afford that. We only have $210,000. But, dude, this would be a refrigerated triple. That would be even better. But I can't afford it. I can't afford it at all. So we're going to have to go with the insulated one. Or we could do the dry van. But that's... No, I want I want to have the insulated one just so we can at least make more money. The chassis we can't really customize. Uh, as far as paint jobs, okay. Wait, what? Look at this. This is cool. I didn't know we could uh, apply liveries to this one. Well, we'll definitely apply some kind of a livery. Uh, I kind of wanted to match my truck, though. I'm thinking. Hmm. By the way, I just looked at the prices for all of these liveries. They're $60,000. So that puts me at $218,000. We only have two ten, dollars So I can't even afford the livery. Uh, we could do like a custom color. Or we could do a Cascadia official one. Hmm. But that would be weird if I use a Freightliner Cascadia uh, livery. Uh, and we're driving a Peterbilt right so maybe we'll just color it for now uh with something interesting something that kind of matches my truck maybe you know what i'm gonna make it blue that's it that's it we're done because it's the same price it doesn't cost me anything so let's see what kind of accessories we can actually add over here uh trailer front okay we can do the wind deflector okay or the chromed wall why would i do that Hmm. And the wind deflector doesn't really make sense because my trailer is higher than this. So I don't think I'm going to waste our money on that. We will get a bunch of lights, though. I'm not going to touch the wheel. Ooh, we can do skirts. I actually like skirts and how they look. No, the, hold on. Let's take a look from the side and see which one looks the best. I kind of like the black one just because it covers... It just flows better with the truck, so we'll do that. Um, not gonna do the trailer front on any of these. Uh, we're gonna add the skirts to the rest of them, though. Does that add on both sides or just one side? I guess we'll loop around. Not gonna customize the wheels either because, well, it's not really. It doesn't. It's not really worth it. You know what I mean? Uh, we, let's put lights though on all of these too, just so they can at least match. We're spending, you know, some good money over here. Let's see what, woo. Let's see what we can cu customize over here in the trailer rear. Standard door. 
We have the roll-up door. That looks a little bit better. Or the chrome. Honestly, I don't like chrome. No. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, the banner. I don't... Mm, long load. That makes sense because it's a triple trailer. So we'll keep that. The rear bumper. I do like this one a lot better. So we'll keep this. And then finally the mud guards. Okay, we'll use those. So, yeah. And yes, we do need to add more on this side. Okay. Now the lights are good. I think we've selected the lights. Yeah. I'm gonna change up the mud flaps on this side as well. Here, dude. It's all going to add up, honestly. Uh, rear banner doesn't make sense to put in in between here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the doors in the middle because it's in the middle of the trailer. It doesn't really matter. And mud flaps on this one. And finally, one last piece. The side skirt goes here. And uh, yeah, look at this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think this will do. This will do. $181,000 we're spending on this trailer. It looks a lot better than it did before. Uh, I wish we could have applied some livery to it, but we just couldn't do it. So yeah, we're going to transport it to the Salt Lake City garage. And uh, we're going to pick it up and uh, do a quick delivery with it and see how much money we can actually, uh, we can actually make with this trailer. Okay, so we're gonna use it right now. Boom! The select the trailer is waiting for you in your garage, and uh, yeah, we we just have to go to Salt Lake City, uh, pick it up, and then we'll do a local delivery there. Well, guys, and here we are. Take a look at this. We have our triple trailer, and uh, we're gonna be doing our first delivery right now. If we can even get out of here. All right, let's see if we can actually maneuver ourselves out of here without, like, crashing into anything. Jeez. So I picked out one delivery that we're going to be doing today. I think we're going to be transporting beverages is what we're going to be doing. We are just heading over to the warehouse to uh, pick them up. But, yeah, man, you guys can already tell this is not going to be as easy as our typical typical jobs all right we're gonna go left in just a second man all right let's take a look dude pulling out into traffic that's gonna be that's gonna be fun i think we can go after this guy here we go Dude, this thing is massive, like, look at this, it's literally a road train. Alright, right now the the, uh, the trailers are obviously empty, so it's a uh, way we can go pretty quick. Uh, but maneuverability wise, it's definitely a little bit challenging. We're going to be taking a left. Today's um, trip is going to be relatively quick just because, you know, I wanted to keep it kind of short. Just kind of, you know, trying out the trailer for the very first time. Uh, but I did see that we could do, like, the most expensive delivery was uh, 20, no, $38,000. $38,000. So, um, definitely, like, the most expensive delivery uh, I would ever do uh, to date, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that this trailer will allow us to make a lot more money than usual. All right, let me move over. Oh, what kind of a car is this that's in front of us? It looks really like futuristic. Take a look at it really quickly. What is that? Look at this guy. He's like, should be happy driving a supercar. It says Felino. I don't even know what kind of a car it is. It looks really funky though. 
I can't even see him right now. It's so funny if I, like, if I didn't know he was there, I would probably just rear end them. <laughs> so funny. Oh, the challenges of having, like, a really low car, a sports car. But yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go on yellow, 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 yellow. I think we just made it. I think I went into the intersection on yellow and then it turned red. Man, I love this truck. <laughs> I keep saying that, but yeah. It's definitely my favorite truck and I think the color combination is perfect. Like the gold and blue. It just, it looks good. It looks really good together. Oh, I gotta go. We gotta go. So I guess we're going to uh, UPS first. To uh, pick up this, um, this delivery. And hopefully it's not gonna be crazy complicated. Like, I can't back up this trailer. Like, it's... I think it's impossible. So, we'll see where they want me, uh... to position this thing. There we go. Actually, I think we have to select the job first. Which I already know what we're doing. So, this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing this. Yeah, transporting beverages from UPS to Dollar General. It's going to be a relatively short drive, just an hour and 35 minutes. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take this job. Pays us a little bit of money, but yeah, cargo is ready to be loaded. Okay, all right, so... They're actually making it somewhat easy for me. I just have to pull in forward. And hopefully this works because... Oh, I, th I think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna hug the, uh, the left side as much as I can. And hopefully the trailers will follow. One of them is poking out, but I, I think they'll take it. I think this is gonna be alright. Yes. Alright, exiting this though, it's gonna be kind of uh, interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and load this thing real quick. Oh my gosh, it's probably gonna get dark. Dude, it took forever. It's already 7 o'clock at night? Oh my goodness, bro. Alright. Oh, and they flipped me around. Look at that. This is beautiful. I love driving the triple trailer. It's probably going to be like the easiest parking that, you know, we never have to back up, essentially. All right, guys. I think I had the lights on because we're definitely going to need them today. Whew. All right. Quick drive. We're going to avoid driving at nighttime today, which is nice. We're gonna get there probably a little after sunset, a little before nine o'clock. Forgot to look how much weight we're carrying, and I think this job doesn't really pay us all that much. Okay, here we go. I think it's probably going to be one exit, too. We're going to, what was it, Provo? Utah? Something like that. Uh, I know it's a town that we have not discovered yet, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to turn on Jake Brake. Because that thing sounds insane on this truck. Wow. This thing is massive. There we go, we're gonna enter the highway right here.
My guy is kind of getting tired, as you guys can see. Uh, but he's not yawning yet, and this drive is very short, so I think we should be able to make it before he falls asleep completely. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta take this. I gotta take everything kind of wide. I think we're fitting in just fine. Yes. Perfect. Hop on the highway, do a quick top speed run. You guys already know how we do. No one's coming. I think we're gonna have to take one of these exits here. I don't know exactly which one. We'll figure it out. Is this the one? I think this is the one that I need. Yes, perfect. Exit 120. I think I've taken it before. Whoa. Whoa, Eggy, pay attention. Crossing all lanes on the highway here. Uh, good thing there's no traffic here today. Man, we're definitely carrying something heavy. Well, beverages. Beverages are heavy. It's all liquid. So, yeah. Trying to get up to speed here. to 70 miles an hour. It's, uh... The truck is kind of struggling a little bit. But I think it's also because we're going uphill and carrying this massive cargo. One of the future episodes, I want to try and do, like, the most expensive delivery. It's probably going to be really long because... Oh, I'm running out of fuel? Oh, gosh, bro. Um, filling up with this is going to be a problem. I don't see any gas stations here. I would have taken this exit if I saw some gas stations. Guys, we have an hour left. I wonder if we have enough. There's always something here. There's always something that will give me a challenge. And this time around, it's gas. So I think there's a gas station coming up over here. Should we? Oh, I, we have to take this exit anyway. We're pretty much... Oh, no, we don't. We don't have to take this exit, but there is a gas station. Ah, but it's just out of the way. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh, look at this. Well, we have to pull in for inspection anyway. So that's nice. Beautiful. All right, leave your guesses in the comment section down below. I'm completely clueless. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to guess 83,000 pounds. So let's see. 120. Almost 121. That's a lot. That's why we're struggling on the highway. 121,000 pounds. That's probably the highest I've ever had to do. Maybe not. I don't know if we've done heavier deliveries than this one here. Yeah. All right, guys, don't worry. We still, you know, only 37 minutes left to go. I think we should make it on whatever gas we have here. And if not, we can always call, like, AAA, and um, I think they will effectively either fill us up or tow us to the closer closer um, location. Alright, but of course, if I see a gas station on the way, we are going to stop. 
I just don't see anything yet. Alright, go, go, go! I'm being passed by everybody! Louisiana Kitchen! Popeyes? You guys like Popeyes? And Papa John's! Oh my gosh, man, I'm getting hungry. Whenever I see all of these trailers with, like, you know, fast food companies, I get hungry! Bro, that's not fair. I think I've only been to Popeyes once. And whatever chicken I got was really, really spicy. So... I haven't been there since. But I think, I think I just ordered something wrong. Because I hear really good things about Papa John's, or not Papa John's, um, Popeyes. I hear really good things about them. So... But lately I've been trying not to eat meat. Uh, my wife and I were trying to eat, like, beyond meat stuff, like, meat substitutes. Um, discovered a new city. Uh, but yeah, we don't want to put, like, a label on ourselves yet. Like, we don't want to say... Like, I'm still eating seafood, so I guess technically I would be, a uh, considered a pescatarian. Uh, which is, like, a step below, like, a vegetarian. So we don't want to put a label on ourselves just yet. You know, we're, we're kind of starting to experiment with it. And, uh, yeah. It feels good. It feels good. We're definitely not buying as much meat as we used to in the past. So, you know, just, just because of that, I think... I think it's good, um, but yeah, maybe once in a while, like if there's like Thanksgiving or something, we may eat some turkey, um, but that's why we don't want to put like a label on ourselves, like, oh, you're a pescatarian, that means like you cannot have meat ever again. I don't know, we're trying to like limit our meat use, and then eventually I think the end goal would be that we stop eating meat, but for right now, it's just, it's kind of too early to tell, and, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man, I'm excited. You know, some of the substitutes, like Beyond Meat, and, um, like the burgers, they have, like, they almost taste the same, and even the texture, like, of the, the burgers feels the same. Also, we tried the chicken, uh, sandwiches. Uh, with like the fried chicken looking thing. That's not really chicken, of course. And even that one tastes very similar and has, you know, has the same texture and feel to it. So it's like, I guarantee if I, you know, let like one of my friends try it or like they, they wouldn't even question. They would think it's chicken. So in my eyes, it's like, well, what's the point of you know, buying, you know, real chicken then, or real beef, if we could, um, if we could save the animals, I don't know. What is going on? Where's the train? I mean, I, I can do this too! I can do it too! I don't see the train anywhere. But yeah, so it's just something that we're trying. And, uh, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. This is where we're going, Dollar General. We're pretty much here. Hopefully I don't run out of gas. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can complete this delivery on time. Alright, go. I think I'm gonna need to take this a little wide. Wait, that's not the entrance, right? No, I think the entrance is coming up. All right, no one's coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this a little wide, wider than normal. Hopefully, nobody smashes into me. I've had some bad experiences. 
Here we go. I think we're going to be just fine. And I think... Oh, yep, yep, yep. I think this is the way we need to go. I'm going to go a little wide just because of the trailers. Here another train in the distance. I think this is going to be actually a perfect parking job. Look at that. Perfection, guys. Anyway, that was a fun a little trip here. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you guys already know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.